for this Spiral Abyss run. So that floor was literally the hardest floor ever. I had to actually try hard on that floor. So yeah, I had to try hard because there's so many Electro Slimes. There's like way too many and there's like 22 enemies with really high health. It sucks, it really sucks. I don't know why people say that floor 12 is like the hardest floor in Abyss. Floor 1 is the hardest floor in the Abyss. Because there's so many enemies you have to deal with. And you get no time too. 210 seconds left? Like, are you kidding me? That's like literally the whole Abyss. It's so hard. It's, it's really, really, really hard. But I had to persevere. I have to avoid all the Electro Slimes. I have to avoid all the Hillichurls. I have to avoid the meta churl, especially the axe one and the shield one. You know how annoying the shield one is. And then on top of it all, the final boss of that floor, the Electro Sinsen Mage. Literally everyone's worst nightmare. And well, I have to showcase it with one of the gods of Genshin. Literally the best character in Genshin. She is the best DPS, sub DPS, and support in the game. There's no other character that can compare. And besides, she is the only character in the game who could solo Abyss. Like, you could literally solo the Abyss with her. And that is Amber. Our god Amber. Our goddess Amber. <laughs> All praise Amber. Because she is literally the best character in the game. There is no other character like her other than Amber. Because Amber is Amber. So yeah, that's the reason why I wanted to showcase that floor. Um, with Amber because that floor is literally the hardest floor and you literally have to use the best character in the game to beat that floor There's like no other contest. You just can't do it. You have to have Amber on your team So yeah, but anyways now it's time to actually showcase my Amber I have to showcase to you guys the god of Genshin Impact because there's no other character like Amber <laughs> Our goddess our bunny goddess. So yeah, well Anyways, here it is. Here is my Amber build. As you see here, she has extremely high attack. Literally, probably like one of the highest attack stats in the game. As you see here, look at that crit rate crit damage. Literally the best. There's no other crit rate crit damage out there that's like higher than that. Like literally. This is literally the best crit rate crit damage you could ever have. The ER is pretty good too. It means that she's able to get her burst back. And her burst is literally a giant nuke. It's so powerful. More powerful than Hu Tao's Q. If you can't believe it or not. More powerful than Nuvalet's charge attack. Like, I am dead serious. Like, yeah. And as for weapon, I have Favonius Warbow at R1. Yeah, R1 level 60. That, could, that basically tells you how good Amber is. Literally, Amber could use a level 60 weapon or probably like a level 1 one star weapon and she performs really really well it's she's just that good like the four star weapon i gave her that's just overkill at that point like you could literally just give her the one star bow and she performs wonders in the abyss she's literally the best like you could literally slap any weapon on her and she becomes extremely good she's she's just way too good yeah i just had to give her a premium weapon that you could get for well you have to pay like a bajillion dollars for this weapon but you could literally pay a bajillion dollars and you can get the weapon like it's it's that it's so good like this is literally the best weapon on amber as for artifact set i have four piece emblem of severed fate which is her best artifact set because well her whole damage output is her burst and well i already described it before her burst is literally the most powerful attack in the entire game no other attack could come close to it you think 
Zhongli with his meteors are good? You think Venti with his vacuum burst is good? You think Raiden with her sword is good? No. Amber, arrow barrage. Unlimited arrow works. Yeah, there's no other, no other artifacts that you would run. So you should just run Emblem of Severed Fate to make her burst extremely broken. She's just way too busted. And as for constellations, I have red C2. I know, I know, guys. I am a disgrace. I did not get her C6. I am such a fool. I, I did some tomfoolery. I, 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 I disgraced myself. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed I didn't get her C6. I don't know why I didn't get her C6. I, I don't know why. But she's a standard banner character. So I don't know why they're not giving me amber bursts or amber constellations. If... If I love Amber so much, like, I don't know why. Like, I only got her C2. Like, I mean, okay. But, like, let, let's talk about it for a second. Even though I don't have her at C6, we have the best set of constellations in the game. Like, there's no other constellations, like, that could compare with Amber's. Let's take a look here. So, as you see here with C6, you increase your movement speed and attack by 15%. Like, who does that? Like, yeah, sure, Gene does that. But, like, it, this is Amber's ultimate constellation. Th that, that just means that it's, like, way better than Jean's, right? I mean, it's literally C6. Literally, like, the strongest potential your character can be. Like, yeah, I mean, movement speed and attack, that's really, really good. Amber would want to run around anyway to avoid attacks, and that just makes her extremely good. She's, like, Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct Amber. And with the attack set, too, she's able to nuke enemies down with her bunny and her unlimited arrow works. Like, there's no other like it. Her C5, like, le three levels on your, uh, well, your E is extremely good. But, like, she doesn't need the levels. You could literally run her with level ones and she performs fine. Like, she's literally goddess. Like, she's a goddess. Like, there's no other way. Oh, and then not all. That, that's, that's just not all. I mean, look at that C4. Like, you get one additional charge on E, so you can do double E. That's already overkill, because her E just does way too much damage. It does, like, what, like, a bajillion damage if you, like, give her, like, minimal artifacts. You like, could literally get one more Baron Bunny, and you could do two billion damage. Like, that's, like, two... That's, like, a, mi a billion plus a billion. That That's... That's two billion. Two billion damage. And you get decreased cooldown by 20 seconds or 20 percent so that means that you're able to basically use it more often so you could probably squeeze in a third baron buddy and do 1 billion plus 1 billion plus 1 billion that's like 3 billion damage there's it's just it's just so broken and that's not all she can manually detonate them and they do 200 percent additional damage so that 1 billion becomes 3 billion 3 billion damage 3 billion just think about it so that that's like a total of 9 billion damage. Yeah, that's just way too broken. And then look at this. Not only that, she gets aim shot. She's able to fire two arrows. There's no other character who could fire two arrows. I mean, sure, Venti can. But is Venti... Is Venti Amber? Is Venti a bunny? Is Venti, like, the best outrider in Mondstadt? No. He's just an animal god. Amber is the outrider of Mondstadt. There's no other there's no other character who's the outrider. N name one person who's an outrider. No one. No one is an outrider but Amber. That's why Amber is literally well, she's meant for this. Literally the best. The aim shot does so much damage. 20% additional damage. Like so good. So good. And as for talents, I have 666. Again, I have disgraced the goddess herself. I don't know why I didn't triple crown her. I should have just triple crowned her. Because she's just way too good. But, well, artifact, uh, artifact grinding and talent material farming is just what makes me, like, hold back on her. I can't. I have to, like, work on other characters. But Amber, Amber will always be the first character I will think of if I do ever finish that artifact, well, that artifact grind rabbit hole and the talent material rabbit hole. But besides the point, look at this. Like, Baron Bunny scales HP? Yeah, you can literally have Baron Bunny become invincible. Like, seriously, it becomes invincible. She taunts. Like, she literally gets the enemy off of you. And guess what is important in Spiral Abyss? You don't die. So, yeah, it's really, really good. Like, one of the best in the game. 
and her normal attack is nothing to scoff at. Five consecutive shots, five attacks, five attacks. There's some characters in the game who don't even have five attacks. She's literally like a cut above the rest. Like so, so good. Like Catalyst only have like what, like four or three attacks. Th this character, this character has five, five attacks, five attacks. If they gave her one more attack, she becomes overkill. And the aim shot, well, it does pyro damage. And she is, well, the pyro goddess. She's literally the outrider of Mondstadt. So, yeah, that's literally, like, the best attack in the game. Like, like, there's no contest. Well, speaking of best attack in the game, we have Fiery Rain, which does AoE pyro damage. And she becomes, like, nuking god. Look at that. 40 energy cost. She could literally spam that all day. All day, every day. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, you could just do burst, 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 and then it doesn't matter. Like, the enemy dies in, like, two seconds, as you saw in, like, the floor. Like, the they, they don't stand a chance! They don't stand a chance! Like, they literally don't stand a chance. Like, they, they don't stand a chance. They die by the arrows, and, and, well, they get disintegrated. Like, Thanos snapped out of the world. Like, there's no other character that could do that other than Amber. Amber literally deletes the opponent. It's, it's not even funny. And... I, her talents are like so good. Look at that. Crit rate by 10%, meaning that she's able to crit, meaning that she's able to do more crit damage, meaning that she's able to destroy her opponents. Oh, and it widens the AoE by 30%. You know how large that is? That's literally like like really, really large. It's a big circle. It's, it surrounds Amber. Like, it's so, so good. Like, you saw in the Abyss, right? Like, how much bigger that AoE is. It's just so good. Like, Fiery Rain, best attack in the game. Like, there's no other there's no other character like that like it, what, like like is there any other character who increases aoe on the top of your mind yeah no of course not because amber exists amber literally is the first character that ever does this so obviously hers is better right and next up we have precise out which hits the weak point when you hit a weak point it does 15 percent attack you get increased attack for 50%. So basically, she's the only character in the entire game who's able to hit weak points that does a like a bunch of damage. There's no other character in the game who could do that. And guess what? A lot of bosses have weak points anyway. So yeah, it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, like, look at the modern bosses. I mean, like, like where's the weak points? Like, of course they don't have weak points, but, but think about it. All the bosses' weak points are literally the goddess Amber. Yeah. So. Like, Amber makes the weak points. Like, even though the boss doesn't have a weak point, Amber makes the weak points. Because Amber is just that good. She's just way too good. She's just the goddess of Genshin Impact. So, basically, you can literally just aim at the boss and it dies instantly. Because of that 15% attack. Which is just way too overkill. Even if, at, if it's like 1% increased attack for like 10 seconds. She literally just, like, like destroys all the enemies. It, it doesn't matter. Like, there, there's no other character like her. I mean, look at those talents. Like, those talents and constellations I showed you. Like, you probably are already, like, like wetting your pants right now. Or, like, pooping in your pants. You're in awe. Like, as you see Amber. Amber, like, you saw there, right? She's broken. She's absolutely broken. There's no other character. No other character who can do that. It's, it's just, it's just, it's just Amber, our goddess. And her overworld passive talent, like, like we need that. But if she, if we're able to deduce this in like Spiral Abyss or something, like she becomes like a, even more of a goddess. I mean, look at this, twenty percent less stamina consumption on gliding. Remember that she's like the outrider, a monster gliding champion. Well, yeah, there's no other gliding champion out there. You think the Traveler, Aether, Lumine is the gliding champion? No, no, there's only one gliding champion. Even Venti, the animal god, is not even. And it's not even a gliding champion. Because who's the gliding champion? Amber. There's no other gliding champion out there. Yeah. Behold! And bow down to our goddess, Amber. And that's basically it. <laughs> uh... Yeah, if you could probably already tell, it's over. It's this video is just satire. Yeah, um, I have to put out something for April Fools. So, well, April Fools, guys, April Fools. <laughs> well, anyways, I hope you guys like this joke video. I mean, 
I had to go all out to explain why, well, Amber is, well, our literal goddess of Genshin Impact. I mean, to be fair though, she is the first character that we ever get in our roster. So of course she'll always play a special role in everyone's hearts as being the first four star and also being the first character that you get in the entire game. Besides Aether, if you, if you count Aether or Lumine, then I guess Amber doesn't hold a special place in your heart. But at least, at least Amber is the first four star you get in the game. So yeah, well, either or if she is the first character you get in the roster or if she's the first four star you get in the game, she will always play a special role in our hearts. But still, um, yeah, April Fools. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys like this uh, satire, um, April Fools video, make sure to leave a like down below. Also subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, I upload Genshin videos once a week, so if you do like my content, be sure to subscribe. Um, any amount of support is greatly appreciated. It fuels all of my passion, my drive, my joy of making Genshin content for you guys. So if you do like my stuff, then make sure to, well, support it. Any amount of support is greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. And comment down below, what do you think of our goddess Amber? And also about that, uh, well, Abyss 4. You think it's easy? You think it's hard? You think Amber is the best character in the game? You think she's the worst character in the game? Or do you think this April Fool's joke kind of sucks? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching this Genshin Spiral Abyss video. This April Fool's video. And I'll see you guys in the next real Genshin Impact video.